everybody, it's Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. I am joined tonight by Tao Seti from Reach Out Reptiles. Welcome to another edition of Super Dwarf Sunday. Today is Sunday, April 5th, 2020. And this episode is just an update episode because last week you saw that TC was in blue. We did a complete enclosure clean out for him and we added a new humid hide form a much bigger humid hide and i showed everybody how i make these and i said that if i noticed he started using it or once i felt like he was used to it we would remove his old hide and that has already been done tc did indeed shed this week hi everybody it's almost three in the morning on friday april 3rd 2020 and TC shed. Hi, TC. Look at that nice, complete shed that you left us. I can tell that there's eye caps on it, and it looks beautiful, and it's all in one piece. That is a very good boy. I know the flash is bothering you, but it's dark in here. It's nighttime, and everybody else but us is asleep. Very exciting. A beautiful complete shed and TC is looking just beautiful and he is full of beans today. I think that he wants to eat. I'm actually gonna hold off for a few more days before feeding him. That is the other thing I wanted to update you all on. He's 288 grams. And as you know from the previous couple of episodes, I had been feeding him rat pups and adult mice and sort of alternating between those. And then I started throwing in a weaned rat. Like I'd feed him an adult mouse, one feeding and then a weaned rat and then a rat pup and then another rat pup and then a weaned rat. So I kind of was varying his feeding schedule as far as the size of rodent I was feeding him and the frequency. So at times I was feeding him every 10 days and then at other times I would make him wait a little bit longer. Well. The last two feedings, he ate weaned rats and he's gained some weight, 288 grams and he's about 10 months old. I did talk with Garrett Hartle, who has three of his clutch mates still at Reach Out Reptiles. They are all three females and they are a little bit lighter than him. They're in the 200 gram range, but they're not 288 grams. He said that when he weighed them, I think he said one was 204 grams and the other two were a little bit heavier than that. So I just wanna make sure that while he's getting enough to eat, that I'm not overfeeding him and that he doesn't get too fat. I would like him to stay lean and muscular. So as of right now, he's 288 grams. He has graduated to his larger humid hide, which he is using. I would have to say that he likes it because he abandoned that humid hide. That was the food storage container that I showed you in the last video and he started using this larger one. He's been swimming this week and he's been kind of funny about wanting to come out and interact. He's been very active in his enclosure since shedding and he's been coming to the door and he's been out quite a bit, even during the day. However, when I've opened the door, he hasn't wanted to come out. And earlier today, I tried to shoot this video. He was out, I opened the door. It looked like he was gonna maybe come out of the enclosure. I went to get the camera, and when I came back, he was uh, going into his humid hide. Hi everybody, it's Sunday, April 5th, 2020. Welcome to this edition of Super Dwarf Sunday. I was just in here literally a minute ago and TC was out and at the door. And now as you can see, he's gone into his humid hide. I was going to get him out for some interaction. Since it's his day, I don't know what he was doing a minute ago. I literally just left the room to go get the camera. I came back and he was out. I've got a picture of him stretched out around his swimming pool. And I went to get the camera to get him out to interact. 
he's put himself in his humid hide. The humid hide which we made during last week's Super Dwarf Sunday. And he is not using this small one at all, so it is coming out. He seems to like his new one. So I thought, well, okay, we can wait until later. And he was completely out tonight, and he was at his door, and I didn't really give him the chance to retreat. I said, TC, you can come out and interact for a few minutes, and then we will leave you alone. So there's nothing new this week to share with you about TC, but the other thing that I just wanted to do as a follow-up was we talked about the different uses for tubs and bins within a larger enclosure, and I made a video about using a tub or bin for multi-purpose use, sort of all in one. And that video focuses on one of my Morelia Bredley enclosures. And so that tub is being used as a swimming pool, as a ledger shelf, and as a perch. And if you want to check that video out, it's on the YouTube channel. And I think it says multi-purpose bin. It might be under my Morelia Minutes playlist, but it's a short video about what that tub looks like and how it's used for three different purposes. That's about it. Just to recap and follow up from all of the things we discussed last week, TC did shed. It was a beautiful, complete shed and he looks beautiful and healthy. TC is using his new larger humid hide and I have taken his old one out. And then the third thing is I've weighed him tonight. He's 288 grams. He had no problem digesting the weaned rat. So I think that's probably an appropriate meal size for him. I'm probably gonna make him wait 10 days to two weeks between meals because I don't want him to gain too much weight as his three siblings that Garrett still has are, man, 50 to 80 grams lighter than him. I just don't want him to get too fat. I want him to stay lean and strong. Well, everybody, thank you so much for checking in with us tonight. Thank you for watching this episode of Super Dwarf Sunday. Until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals. And you can see a water droplet on his head. That tells me he's been in his swimming pool swimming before I came in here. I bet if I took him out right now, he'd be wet. I can see water actually dripping off of him. I don't know if you can see it in the video.